Now I'm about to talk some stuff. He, about to li- he got the he got the booty rub time in his <laughs> I show. I know what he got. <laughs> I listen to his show every week. Right now, look every week. Now let me tell you something else though. Show you how time always evolves, <laughs> and we know this. And look, we're not saying anything that's not new. But check this out, man. This is a trip. Now go out and let's talk about the women who are for a younger generation. They set the they set you know, the tone. They different. That's they what's set cracking the tone. me up. You can't jump yes. over to the thirty five over y'all. forty. The ones that's that come the on this is. show are different. I'm not. I'm Mac. Y'all help me. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. <laughs> no, Y'all, not, it is not, different. We're not make, I'm not ready for these young no, women no, we're that not come putting that doctrine out there. But I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying what Vic and I are observing, and y'all are living it with us. When we have the younger folks on the show, it is a whole different game plan. Well, it just reminds you. It is a whole different, different vibe. Because let me say this, more. thank God. And, and thank you. <laughs> thank let God. me say this. <laughs> thank God. Remember the days where you sit back and you would... The, the women would wait as long as possible because that was the doctrine, even though they may These or may not. These women today. Today. Ask a woman this. I've asked several times. I'm not going to say the age group, but I can tell you this. They're younger. And I said, what if a man is not trying to come at you physically, say, within three to four weeks? They say something must be wrong. That's what, hey, that's what they say. Now, it doesn't mean that they're going to do anything. Right. It just means that they want to know it's validated. Well, that's, yeah, they want to know. And also because they players. Like, listen. One of the things you get over is back in our day when you would have meet up with somebody and have sex with them, you kind of felt like that was sort of yours a little bit. Yep. You felt a little claiming. You owned it. It, it was, it was a Nowadays, these girls tell you, <laughs> he says, oh, <laughs> hell no. I'm just, I'm just passing through, baby. You know, that's the way the women are today. <laughs> so, See, they, shit. And I promise you guys. I'm just telling you. We're not going to be this way on Valentine's we're Day. We're not. We're going to have. But. Two enough Valentine's Day. We're going to have love, right? <laughs> right. Because I'm the buying is, some. I'm buying some love. Well, Martin, listen. We're going to bring love talk, in here. Talk to. Right now. If, if Valentine's Day is working for the ladies, they already know they got it coming. It's solid. It's the tweeners who are now waiting. They're waiting because they don't have a claim. It's not. You ain't exact. getting no man between now and Valentine's <laughs> Day because every dude out there know. <laughs> Every man out there know goddamn well. Wait a minute. You don't get no girlfriends between Thanksgiving <laughs> and Valentine's Day. Wait a minute. You that, that's how you save hope, money. Hope reigns eternal, your, man. If they're not your girlfriend on Val- by Thanksgiving, oh, yeah. they don't get to be your girlfriend until February sixteenth. Think of yourself as the exception <laughs> to the rule. <laughs> See, I told somebody I, you, how you're treated on a daily basis will dictate fellas, what you're gonna get. Are we picking up any girlfriends on February twelfth? <laughs> there go Mac again. Max said, "What? What do you mean, us? <laughs> see, Mario, you standing alone on this island, no, man. No, Max, because he Max trying to declare he ain't. See, Max trying to declare he not doing stuff. <laughs> Talking about don't. He's not gonna be on the internet looking for sex. Wait a minute. What well, sex might be on the internet looking for you? Wait a minute. Now, <laughs> I got one. Okay, let me ask you this then. Let me ask you this. Since you go up there, let's say. See, that's right. The, y'all gonna stick me out there alone? Yeah, wait, okay. Well, I'm just saying. What I about know, a man? I'm a lone soldier. What about a man? Uh, uh, so the men who don't have anybody at all. Are they lonely on Valentine's Day? No. Whoa, that's me. Oh. Mac, first of all, I'm not. Okay, first of all. What group are you talking about? I don't about? have a woman, but I'm not. When I don't have a woman, I ain't lonely on Valentine's Day. When you was 25, first of all, was you? Was, do you, you know the that's clubs right. are packed on Valentine's Day? I know, but. With full I, of women it. who ain't got no man. Tell, I'll tell you. Watch this. Women are out there with their girlfriends on Valentine's Day. Did you, did you try to run and hide, or did you look forward to Valentine's Day when you were dating or had a girlfriend? Oh, what, when I was what, dating? Yes. Oh, I, I looked forward to it. See what I'm saying? So you, you mean, have to remember when the I days. was caught up in love. Yeah, when, whatever when my your mind love. was sickened <laughs> and caught up <laughs> by the rapture You're what, of that Mac, good, Mac, good, good, Mac, good stuff. Now, Mac, I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> yes, I did look forward Wait, back then. Dude, yeah, see, Mac. I was caught you up. You do sense <laughs> some bitterness in Mario, don't you? You see the flavors going on here. See? Mac, that's not bitterness. <laughs> What? <laughs> Me? See, that's Moi? Bitter- that is bitterness. Moi? Times 10, Moi? man. <laughs> yes. I am not bitter because I don't have pay, uh, any alimony. Right now, you should be doing like this. Girls, live one day at a time. Your Valentine's Day is every day. Don't wait for that's the 14th. Every day is it's, Mother's Day. Remember, this may be the last year. This is 2012. Every day is Mother's Day. 2012. I'm, not, I'm just saying, okay, let's ask the chat room. They out there. I had to see no. See, they don't answer certain questions. <laughs> they don't see, want funny, to. See, funny. They don't, they don't answer know. certain questions. No. Now, I, Mac, Mac Norman, Vic said, <laughs> y'all, when you, if you're alone on Valentine's Day, are you lonely? Yeah. Now, what's the story? And Come if on, you don't, now, if I you need have, to answer. If you don't have no casual Norman girls. Norman says no. Norman says no. <laughs> 
Norman. I'm back, ain't said nothing. But now, Norman, <laughs> I want you to go put check your Bible. It's probably on fire right now. Okay. I, okay, okay. And if you're not lonely, are you first of all, Valentine's Day is a good party day. It really is when you're single. It is a good party day. You know, it, it me, always was. It doesn't now, now, don't you feel don't you have some wonderful friends, female friends who you go like, they're such good people. You don't want them to have Valentine's Day not recognizing their beauty. Isn't that true? What? <laughs> See, you know what? You I don't have no women that I feel like I have to run around and make sure they have a good no, Valentine's no, no. Day. You hope for them spiritually. I'm at they, hope yeah, for like a I'm minute saying. of hope. But I got stuff to do. I can't waste my hope. Wait a minute. How much hope you want to put no, on that? Wait a minute. You don't I have to do I need my hope for internet television. No, but you don't need to do anything but just wish that they have. I a... don't have time to be wishing for them. I'm wishing for Mac McAllister and Norman Ross channel success. That's what I'm wishing for. See, I don't have hope to go all around for everybody. <laughs> Shit, I got to steer my hope. See, you see what's I got happening? special hope wait categories. See, you see what happens here? This is why we're not, uh, why we have to. If they believe that Norman we... says he wants gifts on Valentine's Day. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Look at you. You guys are all confused. You're supposed to... How do you entice people to come on this show? If you want a Valentine's Day special, what would you do to make the women or girls or ladies... Tell them we're the going to have gifts for them. What kind of gifts? That's the part where you don't let them know. <laughs> you just tell them, I have a special gift. You know what they want? I'm going to tell you. I know what they want, but it has nothing I, to do with the gift I, that I give. I, I, I'm you say, give them what you want them to have. <laughs> You don't care what they want. You know you what? give them what you want them to have. This is what they want. They said, Mario, <laughs> if you're not really making yourself open to the opportunities, then bring us over some, uh, you know, get some men in here that we can drool over since you're not having it. I told them bring their own damn men. <laughs> well, who am I? Escort service? <laughs> the hell is this? Bring me, bring me a man. <laughs> you guys, Rick, well, tune in. Make sure you're here next Tuesday. Because it's turning out that the whole Valentine's thing, because we are talking about it, yep. is getting to be a big deal. It is. It's and so we're going to have a special show, and we're going to have people sitting in, and it's going to be crazy. So come, be prepared to act a damn fool right. on Valentine's Day. Now, we're not, this is not going to be a show about what's ha- the good news, the bad news, politics. This is going to be, as Chardet would say, a lover's holiday, right? If they don't have a lover's holiday here at Pax during Morning Coffee, Mario, you might as well close shop. I can't close the shop. <laughs> we about to expand our repertoire. See, that's what I'm saying. We about one to expand day, now. One day, you guys, we're trying to play. Ladies. We got wait, if we get to what we got want to do in 2012, we have a bunch of days. If we get this new, <coughs> we, we try to do a Saturday Night Live type show, y'all. We're trying to do it all. We are. We try. We trying to get the actors and if we can just get these people in here and try to do some skits. Y'all might be seeing some really crazy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Plus, if we integrate everybody from Online, yeah, and pulling their little pieces in, yeah. Because I am, I'm gonna pull pieces in from all of you all. Yeah. Know that I am. Yeah. So it'll be cool. You got to do it because this is based on the Mayan calendar. The last year to have fun, right? That's right. It ends this year. <laughs> it ends. Put your videos. It out ends. There. Everything ends this year. Yes, it. Put your videos That's out. That's all. There. So y'all better hurry up. You know, you guys don't realize you everything's s- over. Mar- Mario, we celebrated our final Christmas on this planet, right? We did. What did you do for Christmas? I did the same thing I'm about to do for Valentine's <laughs> See Day. What I'm saying? Sit home and look at my bills and go, thank God I don't. See, hey, I'm saving so much money <laughs> not having a woman. <laughs> that's the only way internet television can thrive. In fact, that's the way internet television can thrive. And then at least that's better than my writing partner, Irvin Foster. He loves for me to have breakups. He said, man, we can really. He said, you got to tap in so we can write. <laughs> Norman sent a request to you, man. He just wanted to let you know since you're exiting out this day. Norman said, bring him a man. <laughs> you know, these men out here in, in L.A., Norman, you got to get them checked. Uh, you got to get them tested, you know, run them through the mill. So I'm, I'm just telling you, this is L.A. I'm looking out for your behalf. When you come out here, hey. I'm, you're going to behave, too. You, you, Hey, <laughs> ch- check the stats on Utah. This is a no, good place because to go, right? You know one day, part of the dream is one day we're going to have a big old party because everybody's stuff is successful. So yeah. they all will be flying in, and we'll have them all on the broadcast. There Mac, you go. That's a daydreamer. Yeah. Norman Ross, Mac. Yeah. And we'll be all broadcasting. Everybody be millionaires. That'll be our, that's our dream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mac will, Mac will actually come down on his boat. He will take the boat down. <laughs> the coast. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's how we're going to do it, Matt. That's how it's going to be right now. <laughs> and we're going to talk about the good old days. Oh, man. All right. So let's go. We got a few other stories to hit. One, I know this was very important to Norman. 
Taco Bell starting the breakfast arena. <laughs> Mac too. <laughs> y'all said Mario screw you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's wrong. But I'm saying, y'all, Taco Bell's entering the breakfast arena. Now, what the hell are they going to have at Taco Bell that you're going to eat for breakfast? When are they going to have new stuff? <laughs> it's new. I was just wondering. You yeah, know. I'm wondering. Because, you know, some stuff is a good idea yeah. till you get over there. <laughs> I'm just trying to fill it out, man. Taco Bell has got a new Johnsonville sausage and egg wrap. Now, what the hell Taco Bell is about that? <laughs> But they're going to have new breakfast food at Taco Bell. You know, I can't wait. Now let me, so are you really endorsing this? I'm saying I eat McRibs. So you know what value does my judgment have? <laughs> Y'all eat McRibs. So I eat McRibs. Well, I think mm. KFC and Taco Bell still mm. is the strangest one to me, man. KFC, Taco Bell. KFC, Taco Bell. They are strange. They've joined together. Yes, they are. Well, so that's the other thing. Now, <clears throat> here's another story I thought was interesting. But I guess you guys agree. Most parents today are helping their adult children make major purchases. As it turns out, it looks like a number, growing numbers, and actually people are trying to get a handle for exactly how high the numbers are, of people are finding themselves helping their grown children purchase homes and cars, wow. especially in this time. So it's a whole new cycling. Really? First of all, the kids were staying at home today with 35. But <laughs> And then when you move out, it's because their parents are helping them buy a home and a it, car. Is it smart to do that now, man? To stay as long as you can with your parents? It might be. Okay. And in some cultures, if that's the way it's always been, you leave the house when you get married. Right. That, which made it a little weird to me, but okay. okay. But, but uh, <laughs> you had to sneak out or something. I, you had, I don't know what you were doing. Everybody was racing out. Now they're all racing back, right? They're racing back. All, all right. right. And the last story of the day is this whole issue of the volcanic eruptions. It's one of our trending <laughs> tweets. It's one of our trending tweets. Man, I can't say that. Okay, they have people are concerned that there's some hidden... You know, there's some volcanoes at Death Valley, Yellowstone, of course, Mammoth Mountain, too. You guys, every there, there's a and, uplift. You're well, gonna find, uh, that's right, and yeah. I think on one side of side of Mammoth, they right. have a lot of death of the the trees and the greenery. That's right, because of the gases coming up through the soil. That's right. Well, they're looking at all around. You know, there's a number of volcanoes that people are thinking are seemingly becoming a little more active, showing some signs of activity, and maybe we're uh, overdue. For a volcanic eruption. I'm going to go back to what you do. Oh, you, Mario oh, we, oh no, excuse me. Are we about to go do what oh, Mario God. does. I thought that kept Mario a secret. Said, <laughs> it wasn't me. Mar that was not me. See, what he always <laughs> says, he says, you know, discovery is not when you find out and study the phenomena. It's when you actually locate what's been going on all along. Well, volcanoes going to erupt. <laughs> Mac, how far are you from Mount St. Helens? <laughs> No, no. His Mount Rainier is his oh, concern. That's, oh, that's right. Mount Rainier is his concern. Oh, man. Norman, they may oh, have. We're going to check see, Cleveland Seattle's area. Seattle's going no. down, but don't worry about it. You guys are here. Y'all got volcanoes, so y'all can laugh. It is, you know, that's what I'm saying. Y'all right? better watch out. You know what a flatland volcano is? It's just a big pimple getting pushed up by the same thing a big mountain has. Mm. Uplift, man. I just can't wait, you know, because this is the year you're supposed to just let it all go. Maybe that's why Mac is doing all the video clips and have something to remember. No, he maxed up. But Mac is like, I'm about to get my channel going. <laughs> he said, shoot, I'm going to ride this. And I got his back. So we're going to do whatever y'all want to do. Just remember that. Everybody. Yes. That's been. Uh, I don't know what it's been. The good news. Uh, the bad news. Thanks to all my chat room. My friends, nasty freaks. <laughs> yeah, just when I think I'm nasty. <laughs> I go to the chat room, and then I know I'm with my own element. <laughs> That's right. I'm serious. Matt McAllister has booty rub time during his show. Come on, man. <laughs>